Recovery and rehabilitation is a lifelong process. Um, and there, there is research that points into that recovery happens in the first six months and, and then it stops from there, it plateaus. Um, in my line of work, I have seen people who are still recovering after 15 years post-stroke. So um, recovery happens differently for every individual. And um, with the appropriate support and with the appropriate intervention, this recovery process can actually be very energizing and very life enhancing. Um, we tend to work with illnesses and changes in physical abilities and cognitive abilities as though our life always changes for the worse. I have worked with a lot of people who, after surviving a stroke and, uh, and working through the challenges that that uh, they have faced since their stroke, um, they have actually um, transformed their life into something much more meaningful than, than they used to have. So I think instilling hope and empowering people that there is always potential and possibility for something even greater and better is, is something that I, I, I have learned in my experience. and. Uh, and the many, many, many number of stroke survivors that I've had the privilege of working with is that, yes, there are changes, yes, there are challenges, but how do we work together and how do we work with the resources that we have to create a really purposeful life? Um, what a lot of stroke survivors struggle with is uh, finding a purpose in their life after not being able to do what they used to do before. Uh, especially this is, this is a common challenge for young stroke survivors because stroke now happens among the younger population more often than it used to even five or so many years ago. Um, we, we can be empowered, we can be motivated, and the recovery process can be a very fun and stimulating process. There has been many cases of that, and, uh, um, and that's what I would like to share with the people that I have the privilege of working with, uh, that this doesn't need to be all doom and gloom, and, and, and there is just endless possibilities there. Since I do see uh, folks um, usually well after they've had uh, their stroke, um, uh, the question inevitably comes up, you know, how long is this going to take? And everybody kind of progresses differently. Um, uh, I tell them that it, uh, that it is a long process, that they, um, uh, it is going to take them some time, it's going to take some dedication, uh, and that if they've heard from somebody or another that, oh, gee, whatever you're going to get after, you know, six months or a year is all you're going to get, that's, that's just hasn't been true uh, in my experience. And, and a lot of uh, research now is showing that we can still progress folks uh, even after that year. So that kind of artificial, you know, one year, uh, one year and that's it, that's all you're going to get. Um, we're just not seeing that to be true, especially with those folks that are staying dedicated, they're staying um, um, dedicated to their program and persevering with their program. Uh, they, sh they continue to show gains well after you, years after. Uh, and I see that in my practice because I see folks, you know, well after a year um, after they've had their, their stroke. We see patients years after their stroke still making a recovery. And it, it happens in a couple different ways. Uh, for some people, yes, they may see more recovery initially, but that's not the case for everybody. Uh, people will go through times where they may have a couple months with a lot of recovery. We will tell people they may show no recovery for the next few months after that, but that's also typical because maybe at nine months, at a year, at a year and a half or later, they will show recovery again. The other thing to keep in mind is that we, a lot of what we do as therapists is waiting for function to return. So sometimes people will hit a lull in their progress. They can't see it. But we still will have them working on maintaining what they have, uh, 
uh, keeping their muscles stretched, not getting contractures. And the reason is, is that we know that a percentage of people will get more motion down the line. And the worst thing that can happen is if you start to get muscle return, if you can't use it because now you've developed a secondary complication or your muscles are too tight to take advantage of it. One of the things that's very exciting is with some of the new uh, devices that are available either with electrical stimulation um, and or computer based is that people now have options that are years out from their stroke. And when they don't have contractures, when we've tried to maintain range of motion, they are candidates to benefit from that new technology. So I, I can't encourage people enough that you just you need to stay with it, and there's, there's going to be change way out years down the line, and constantly new technology just to even try and take advantage of.